like to thank um, Old Bowie Town Grill for hiring some cute waiters. It's nice when you come and see some guys who are waiting on tables because most places usually have tips and asses. So thank you. So I don't know if you heard about this. In the news in El Paso, Starbucks is being sued for firing a little person. I guess she couldn't reach the latte machine. Oh. And forgot that munchkins are at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> oh, come on, don't get me wrong. I love little people. They're delicious. <laughs> so, uh, to support my entertainment career of being a radio DJ and stand-up comedian, I'm also a live-in dog sitter nanny for this really cool family. They're down to earth. And Bob, the guy that I work for, he owns a few adult baseball leagues. And one day he came home and he's like, hey, how would you like to have dinner with me and some Russian baseball players? I'm like, wow, it's not every day that you get asked to have dinner with Russian baseball players. So I'm like, yeah, sure, what the hell? And while we were at dinner, I kept looking around the table at these burly Russian baseball players. And all I could keep thinking was, I wonder if they call the outfield Siberia. <laughs> See, now... Those of you who didn't laugh at that, history class will come back to you at like 3 a.m. And you'll be like, Siberia, I get it. That Dee Dee, she's a funny girl. <laughs> so a little bit about myself. I'm originally from the Chicagoland area. Good Midwest girl. Cute. Uh, youngest of nine. So obviously my mom. Yeah. One of ten. So Catholic? No. Farmer. There you go. Farmers are Catholics, right? So my mom's side of the family Catholic, dad's side Baptist, so I guess I'm a Catholic. <laughs> Which made getting gifts unusual from my mom, chastity belts, from my dad, condoms. Between the holy water and the joy juice, was I cleansing my soul or getting drunk? Ten commandments or the twelve steps? So I was hanging in uh, Vegas not too long ago, and I was at Circus Circus playing roulette, and you know, drinks are on the house, so I'm packing and racking the gin and tonics in, and that's the last thing I remember was being at that roulette table. I wake up the next day, there's a man in my bed, and he yeah. learned, thank you. <laughs> yes, I do snort, sir, when I laugh. <laughs> And when I swallow. <laughs> okay. Here when I orgasm. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I wake up and there's this guy in my bed. And he blurts out in a British accent, So, how does it feel to be married? Okay, that's more Irish, but it was British. And I'm freaking out, looking at all the paperwork. And then the thinking kicks in, well, he's cute. He's from England. He has an accent. This could be a good marriage. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't know how it is for the rest of you, but for me, an alcoholic blackout is like that old TV show from back in the day, Quantum Leap. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I now? I'm happily married to a British guy. Life is grand. <laughs> I'm in New Orleans at a gas station, sitting on a bowl-shaped fixture that's normally used for defecation purposes. <laughs> I touched you where, officer? <laughs> yeah, you can imagine my mom getting the phone call after that blackout. Mom? Yes? Kind of in a little bit of trouble? What did you do now? Got a ticket, tried to get out of it by offering the police officer a handjob. You did what? You're supposed to be a goddamn bat -like. <laughs> Yeah, I have issues. <laughs> Speaking of someone with issues, Wesley Snipes in prison, learning white men can jump. Imagine this, Wesley Snipes goes into prison as paid and comes out gaily. I've always liked sucking blood, but now I want to suck it out of a penis. I guess this is my baby black man voice. Snooki from the Jersey Shore, another one with some major issues. She was on TV talking about how she wants to have babies. Seriously, her parents need to have a sit down with her. You're hot right now. You need to endorse Trojan Heat condoms. Make money for birth control. 
oh, Planned Parenthood needs a poster of Snooki. You could catch one of these. <laughs> So, um, but you know, I kind of relate to Snooky because one day I'd like to have a baby, but I'll settle on taking the care of the kids that I'm a nanny for. I was hanging with Bobby, the three-year-old, and you know, boys, they like to rough house. And one day he pushes me in my chest and he's like, Dee Dee, why do you have pillows under your shirt? Wouldn't it be nice if we could give an honest answer? Everyone's got to have a backup plan. Personality fails. Now I'm interesting. <laughs> and then the other day, we were at the mall, and I had to use the restroom. So the rule is, because he has to go into the woman's bathroom with me, that he has to stand on the outside of the door with his foot under so I can make sure he's safe. So I'm going, and he's like, Dee Dee, are you going pee or poo? I didn't answer, thinking, ignore it, it will go away, he'll just drop it. Oh no. You didn't answer me. I said, are you going pee or poo? Bobby, I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be done in a minute. I think you're going poo. It smells like poo. <laughs> yeah, and you have to stand there and take it. That's payback for the shit that you put me through all week, you little brat. <laughs> Speaking of shit, I was hanging at the DMV the other day and renewing my driver's license. On the way out, I noticed that they marked the male instead of female box provided. I guess they thought they were man boobs. So, yeah. I had to wait in line again, and I walked up to the lady behind the counter and that just loves her job so much. Yeah, yeah right? She was apologetic said they'd take care of it right away. All of a sudden, I kid you not, she picks up the mic to the PA system. Frank, this lady needs a sex change, sex change window number three. <laughs> Maybe it's the Justin Bieber haircut, I don't know. <laughs> so I have Hashimoto's, which is not from Japan, it's a thyroid disease, so my weight goes up and down. And right now I'm working out with this really hot trainer, he's from Casablanca. His abs make me feel like God. I just want to chisel the commandments out. Thou shalt not stop pounding me. <laughs> Thou shalt not bear false witness on my face. <laughs> he makes my bush burn, and not in the having to go to the doctor burning way. He makes it burn in the we're doing it so good, we should be in hell way. So I'm feeling real confident now that I'm working out. So I'm dating more. And I went out on this date not too long ago with this guy who considers himself a karate expert. And you know those wooden nunchucks that karate dudes use to twirl around and do workouts with? Well, we're back at his place and he's showing off with the wooden nunchucks. And all of a sudden they go flying in there, pop me in the head, and he's like, ooh, now we both got us some wood. I, I've heard of love taps, but I almost heard taps. And speaking of dating, GPS now has a dating service. But wouldn't it be cool if GPS was on porn? Think about it. Great penis search, right? To a guy's house. <laughs> Approaching small penis house on the right. Recalculating, recalculating. <laughs> On the news, they were doing this dating segment about a website that's called youandmepure.com. It's for virgins to meet and hook up. And they were interviewing 30-year-old men and women who are virgins. See, I met a 28-year-old guy who told me he was a virgin. And the first thing that I asked him was, well, are you gay or are you molested? And he's like, no, Dee, I'm Catholic. Oh, so you were molested. <laughs> that is my time. You, you can find me on Facebook and YouTube at Dee Dee the Funny Girl. That's D E E D E the Funny Girl. Thank you.